Hey guys, welcome to Golf Ball Addict. Got another product review, uh, article of clothing here review for you. Uh, this one comes from Golf Gods. Now, if you've seen my channel before, um, I've actually done a review from Golf Gods before. Uh, it was actually for a putter that had a really hilarious line on the top of it. It was a bladed putter um, I did a while back. Really enjoyed it. I used that putter for quite a few months before I ended up switching it out for the Wilson. Uh, but at the same time, I actually got a couple shirts. Um, this is one of them I got. I got another one. I'm not gonna show it to you though, because it's got some bad words on it. Um, um, but I did want to do a review on this clothing for a while. It's just because of reshoots and stuff. It hasn't been able to come out. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give a quick video and let you know, um, you know, I'm starting to see a lot more advertisements for them. I know that they have a huge following on Instagram and stuff. So, you, you know, anyone who might be thinking about purchasing their clothes, I just kind of wanted to give you my thoughts and feelings as far as what I think. Starting in with the looks of it, as you can see, I'm wearing it. It actually fits pretty good. I mean, I actually like the fit of it a lot. Um, it's very vibrant. It's very unique. I love, you know, it's got like this Vegas Knights theme and um, it's got all, you know, the cards and the, you know, neon showgirls and things like that. Um, it's really unique. Even just looking at it in the camera here, I can't keep, like, it looks really good. Like, it's really vibrant. Um, I love the look of it. Um, comfort wise, it's okay. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't wick in moisture as much as I'd like it to. Um, and it does have some rough areas that feel a little more. More sandpapery than you know than like some premium polos which you know maybe I've been spoiled because you know I've been doing like the short par for executive box recently and like now I know what true comfort you know premium comfort is um, I was actually fortunate enough to get these two shirts on a sale for $30 a piece. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to go over as far as do I think they're worth that, but also their normal price and are they worth that as well. Um, you know, fit wise is good, but as far as comfort, I would say probably like mid range. You know, they're not fantastic, but they're not the worst thing I've ever worn. I've definitely worn some golf polos that were super uncomfortable, you know, like low end Target, Walmart brand stuff, but like this is definitely that middle range. So one thing I do want to say about this company specifically is that they are based in Australia, um, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it does take a while to get your stuff if you're US based. I'm not sure about the UK or anything like that. I'm sure it maybe takes a little less time, uh, but it took like a good two to three weeks for me. Now, they were very kind through the whole process and let me know up front, hey, you know, they set the expectation it's gonna be a few weeks. Uh, so there's really no problem there, but if you're someone who's like, man, I'd really like to have a couple golf polos this week or you're ordering them as a gift, Order them pretty far in advance. I'd say at least a month in advance. Otherwise, you might end up arriving a little bit late. So with that being said, um, you know, not a lot of turnaround time. Um, I, I think I did end up, because I bought the putter with it, getting free shipping. But you have to spend, I think it's $75 for free, free shipping. It might end up being 100 now, but it's 75 I think. Um, so it's not too bad. You definitely would have to buy a couple polos to get to there, um, which let's get to that as far as the price. So I got these for $30 a piece, uh, this one and the other one. And I would say that they're probably worth that. Um, might be a little expensive. I mean, I've, I've bought some $20, $25 polos before that were discounted or on clearance that performed a little bit better and were a little bit more comfortable. Um, but for $30, if you really love the polo, like I really love this one, Definitely worth the money. The normal retail is $59.99 for these polos. And I'll just be frank, that's too expensive. Um, it's too expensive because they're just not as comfortable as a $60 polo should be. I mean, you're talking Puma prices. You're talking the same prices for Puma, you know, Foot Joy, you know, stuff that you would go to the store and buy, you know, I mean, even Under Armour polos are 40 to 50 retail at like Dick's. So I have a hard time understanding how they're $60. Um, I, I think that's way too high. So if, if they're not on a sale, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Um, the other thing with that price is I think it kind of defeats the point of direct to consumer. And I've seen this in golf clothing really badly. Um, you know, golf balls, golf clubs, you know, golf accessories, everything that's direct to consumer has done a great job at taking out the middleman, lowering the price and making good quality stuff available for, you know, a much lesser price because you take out the middleman, you take out the retailer. Um, but clothing for some reason just doesn't seem to be that way. And I, I'm not sure why. I don't know if it has to do with how it's made or where it comes from. Um, but the first company, actually was on Shark Tank. I think it's called Bad Birdie, I believe. And, you know, I've seen their, their stuff and I've, you know, tried it on, but it's like $74 a polo. And it's like the whole thing they rely on is, oh, you know, we're young and we sell directly to consumers. And it's like, yeah, but for $74, I could go buy Puma, you know? I mean, I could buy the whole Ricky Fowler Puma getup, you know, almost. And so I, I don't agree with the prices there. And same thing with this one. I mean, the whole point of direct to consumer is that it's supposed to be cheaper. You know, you just ship it directly. And we're talking about clothing, the cheapest thing to make in the world. Like there's so much markup in the clothing industry as a guy who worked in the clothing industry for so long that 
you know, I know what the markups are and they're ridiculous. So still paying $60 for a direct-to-consumer polo just seems crazy to me. If you buy one, by the time you're done with shipping, you're looking at $70. And frankly, you could drive down to your local, you know, heck, Walmart and get uh, a Ben Hogan brand, which is not great. But you could buy three or four polos for that and probably have a similar performance. So overall, I'm really disappointed in the price. Um, I love the look of it. It looks really nice. It's unique. It's cool to go out. I get a lot of compliments and looks. Um, but there's no way I'd ever pay full retail for it. And frankly, I just wish it was a little more comfortable. Um, thanks guys for tuning in. As always, keep watching to keep saving. And if you want me to review any specific clothing line or accessory or anything like that, just let me know and I'll do my best.